Hello, I'm Andy Signor, and I'm back for some real reviews with real people. I'm here at the Villaggio Cinema in Tampa, Florida, and we just got out of a clock with a house in its walls. Wall, clock with There's a, a wall. A hot, sorry, it's a clock in the walls of the house. It's the new Jack Black, <laughs> Eli Roth movie, and we just left. And let's go see what the audience who paid for tickets thought when they left. Um, I thought the movie was really good. It was a little scary, but overall it was great comedy. I brought my four-year-old to the movie. She found it a little bit scary, but she still enjoyed it. I would recommend the movie. Jack Black was amazing. I wouldn't call it a shot for shot perfect film, but I'd say it was a good movie. I think it came across more as a comedy for adults, but for younger kids it might come off as scary. The movie was interesting, more thrilling than scary. I would recommend the movie because it's a good plot. I thought the movie was great. It had a good 1980s uh, feel to it. And it kind of reminded me of, you know, being a kid again. So it's awesome to be able to take him to see this movie. It was really funny and uh, um, kind of scary. It's got that classic adventure vibe that you see mainly from like the 80s and early 90s movies. I was very surprised how good it was. I went in thinking it was just going to be a run-of-the-mill kids movie, and I very much enjoyed myself. Um, about a 7 out of 10. All right, well, the audience really enjoyed it. I'm not surprised. I enjoyed it, too, and I'm here to break it down with Jake, 10-year-old Jake. We're going to talk to him, as well as Lynn from Nerd Brew Events. And behind me, I got Kevin back from last week, uh, Shannon, and Jake's dad, Ben. Happy to have you all. We're going to talk about this movie. This is Eli Roth's sort of turn into horror for kids. And I thought it was kind of a fascinating approach. It's a little scary, I thought. It's get some really crazy, fun visuals. But I want to get straight to Jake's opinion, because we talked to you in the, in the montage. What were your feelings going into this movie? Were you excited for this movie? Did the trailers excite you or not? I was kind of meh. So now that you left it, were you surprised? What were your thoughts? I, I really liked it, and it was a funny movie. What surprised you? Was it scary for you? Was it funny for you? Like, what, what, what kind of movie would you clarify it as? Well, it was really funny in some parts, but it was also kind of scary. That was what I was curious. And you're 10, right? So what grade are you in? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. So yeah, you're, well, you're a big kid, so you're not that scared now. But there were some weird, creepy visuals, especially towards the end and stuff. Did it make you jump at all? Yes. What age do you think it's appropriate for? Probably like eight and up, maybe. You graduated right in time. Good. All right. So, Lynn, let's get to you first. What, uh, what did you think? Did you jump? Well, I'm a massive horror bu uh, buff, and I actually was legitimately surprised in, in several of the jump scares, but they weren't like – some of the jump scares were kind of predictable, but for the most part, the jump scares were – I was impressed. Um, he, he did a, a pretty great job at transitioning into the more kiddie kind of uh, – version of horror and he also in included some horror or I'm sorry some humor rather to the horror uh, I felt like it could have been more in either direction to kind of cement what genre he was going for because right now it's kind of difficult to place and it feels like it's a mishmash of a whole lot of different movies and ideas that could have been cemented or or you know uh, fleshed out a little bit better but uh, it was still fun it was still entertaining and yeah if 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 uh, if I were you know, younger, I would have been all over it if I were a kid at the time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, for me, it was like, it was interesting. It started off a little like, oh, okay, we're just doing a Lemony Snicket or some other sort of yeah. these, like, over-stylized kid movies. But then I thought he did get it. He, he found his way, and he, I liked it more when he decided to do the creepy visuals or the creepy sequences. My only fault to the movie, and I would recommend it, especially for kids, because I think it's a good, ch like, an introductory chapter yeah. into horror, strange enough, because it does go a little bit, they don't usually make scary movies for kids anymore, I feel like. Yeah. And this one had a few fun moments and jump scares but those are some of my favorite too like movies like Coraline those, those sorts of things I mean obviously I wasn't a kid at the time that that came out but I, I was just using it as, a, as an example Secret of Nim there you go that's one that's actually yeah. legitimately creepy um, where, where uh, the introduction to horror is what's going to, to funnel these kids into lifelong horror addicts just like me so I'm very excited about it that yeah what do you, I, well let's ask Jake Jake yeah. would this, does this want to make you see more horror movies were you a fan of scary movies before this um I kind of wanted to see horror movies, but... What's the scariest movie your dad's let you see? I don't really know. Alien? Predator? No, not yet? Mm -mm, I don't really Good know. For you. <laughs> good for good dad. Uh, but you now you're interested in the genre. You would see more some more scary movies. Like you watch Nightmare for Christmas, Coraline. Have you seen those yeah, types? I've seen both of them. My brother watches it every day. Yeah, those are good, and it's Halloween time, so it's a good season. Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah. It, was, it was totally appropriate for fall, and it totally gets Bobby you... Pumpkins, yeah. yeah, it's it's absolutely perfect for the Halloween mood. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I'm with you, and I think it's good for kids. My only my only criticism on some of these kids' movies is there was so much exposition, and I really get annoyed when the direct. I, I get it. They think the kids are dumb, and they need to be told the backstory and the flashbacks ten times. Yeah. He he over relied on that, and that may have been the studio. I don't know, but I wish they would have thought the kids were smart enough to not need to know every little detail. So it, it fell a little into those traps. But when he didn't, and he owned some of the cool visuals and the cool moments, I thought it really excelled. Let's go to the back. You guys have a mic this time. I'm so excited. Yep, uh, I got the mic. Who has the mic first? Go ahead. I've got it. Ben, so a quick thought. What did you think? Um, I thought the movie was very entertaining. Um, you know, as a parent, you want to take, you want to make sure you take your kid to a movie that you can enjoy as well. And I, I know Jake really enjoyed the movie. It had that '80s feel to it, so it kind of brought me back to when I was a kid. Shannon, what were your thoughts? Well, I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but as soon as I saw Eric Kripke as a screenwriter, I'm like, yes, because <laughs> I watched Supernatural, and he did the first five seasons. So when you guys talk about the transition to horror he's an expert at writing campy horror because that's what he did for six years so um i think that's what helped with the director on, the, on that feel well kevin you came back what did you think were you surprised at the house with the clock in its walls overall i was surprised of how good it was i do agree that it had that bit of an 80s 90s feel they had like a little montage in the in the middle of it they had some good jokes and i like jack black's Vincent Price with com comedy acting yeah. in it. Oh, he did a fabulous yeah, job in this. He nailed that. It, he was he's, enjoyable the whole time. He's trying like a new thing where he's trying to be all stern and tough yeah. and a serious Jack Black. And it, so it was a little hard for me to adapt to, but uh, yes, he won me over. He always does. So it sounds like all of us had a good thought. Final, what would you say? Final word to review this, Jake. It was a good movie. Good, good enough. So I think safe for the kids and, and safe for, and fun for the adults. So check it out. Opens this weekend. We all recommend it. I think it's worth buying a ticket, especially if you have little ones at home. Tune in and make sure you tune in next week for whatever movie comes out. We'll see what happens. And tune in to Nerd Wars, also just debuted here on Popcorn Planet. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell, the little notification, because that's what they have to do now. YouTube doesn't let you just subscribe. You have to click two subscribes. Thanks, oh, is YouTube. Real? Isn't that so fun? What? But I appreciate you watching. There's you made this far, and thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time. Have an awesome weekend, everybody.